Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I'll be talking about lambda functions in Godot 4. Lambda functions are typically used when you have a function that requires less reusability and you want it to be within a more limited scope. Let's take a look at this script for example. We have a ready function and also a custom test function that is connected to the button pressed action. So whenever we press a button, it will call this test function. However, in this example, this is the only time that we're calling this function, so we don't need to have a whole function outside of the scope that we call. We can use the alternative known as a lambda function or an anonymous function because it doesn't have a name. We'll go ahead and replace this function call with function. And then here we just place our function code. So copy this over and paste. We can delete this old function here. And now our button will behave the exact same. However, we don't have an extra function outside of the ready function. We can also achieve some cool things via storing functions into variables. So let's go ahead and create a new variable and call it multiply. We'll set this to be a function. We'll take in two arguments, one being A and one being B. And we'll just return A times B. We can easily call this by typing multiply.call, passing the two arguments. So I'll do three and eight, so three times eight. And let's go ahead and print this out so we can actually see the result. And if we run that, you'll see we'll get a result. Now, an area where lambda functions are very useful is for array functions. So here, I just have an array of numbers being one through eight. We can call the built-in function called filter. So numbers dot filter. This takes in a callable. So function pass an n as the n element in the array. And this will automatically iterate through every single element in the array. So if we return n mod two equals zero, this will find every single even element in the numbers. I also forgot the return keyword. If we go to print this out now, and run, you'll see that we have all even numbers from the array. And we can make this a bit easier by copying this, creating a new variable, call it evens, and set this to be the filtered numbers. And now all we need to do is just print out evens. Anyways guys, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.